in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to go about finding the right undervolt for your particular laptop and CPU, and then also how to manipulate the core and the cache to low, get your temperatures as low as possible, but then also how to get your CPU to perform at the highest level with the best temperatures. So what I traditionally used to do is I used to use throttle stop and I'd set my CPU core and my CPU cache to the exact same uh, number. And then it would lower my temperatures a little bit, but it wasn't optimal. Find a better way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this wonderful program called Google. And when you're in Google, if you haven't subbed to the channel just yet, please go to Laptop Tweaking Tips and hit that subscribe button. But Okay, so you're gonna go to Google, and then whatever your CPU you know, I've got an i5-10200H. So just go into Google, put in what is a stable animal for i5, blah, 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 blah. And then just go through all the results, and go, as soon as you find a website that actually gives you, or forum that gives you a, a stable animal that other people with the same CPU and the same laptop have set, that's gonna be your baseline. So in my case, it was the first Gladi website or forum. So in here, it said generally 10 generation CPUs don't really go further than minus 75 millivolts on the core and the cache. Anything lower tends to bug out. Now I find that not to be the case. But anyway, so I just read through all these comments and that's what I suggest you do. Go through all the comments and see what other people have come up with. And so initially, if you see this, it says minus 75 millivolts on the core and the cache. But then I actually saw something else putting a no, set your cache lower and then push your core further. So that is what I did. So now you're going to fiber, which is obviously we undervolt your laptop. Um, oh, and just by the way, for anybody who has not unlocked undervolting for their laptop, if they've got an Intel processor that is 11th gen, between 11th gen and 7th gen, and you want to unlock undervolting, at the end of this video, I'll link a video, you can just click on it, and there's a method to go ahead and unlock undervolting in most Intel laptops. So go ahead and click that if you haven't unlocked Unvaulting. But anyways, back to the, the purpose of this video. So now set your CPU core and your CPU cache to whatever figure you find to be the best. Now some have suggested minus 75 millivolts on the, on the cache and minus 150 millivolts on the core. So what I did is I did that, and then once I set the core to minus 150 and the cache to minus 75, what I did is I went out of there, and then I ran TS Bench. And if you run TS Bench, and you're not getting any error messages yet, chances are your CPU is gonna be fine, and that is a very stable undervolt. Because you must remember, when you're playing a game, it's not, or it's not really stressing the CPU to its max. Whereas the TS Bench, it pushes your CPU to its ultimate max. That's why you typically find that the temperatures that you find here are going to be higher than what you're going to be experiencing in-game. So if you're not getting an error message, what you can do then is go back into Fiber and then push your core further, push your cache further, and just keep on repeating that process and running TS Bench and what you want to do is you want to run your test and you want this this little red bar to fill up as quick as possible but also at the same time to run at the lowest temperature possible so that's why you just you play around with your cpu cache your cpu core typically you set your cpu cache low and then you set your uh, then you push your cpu core much further i hope that explains it to you guys so just to show you again in that forum somebody said that they got their core down to minus 150 millivolts and they set the cache to minus 75 millivolts by doing testing and just running through the ts bench 
and then pushing a little bit further and then doing TS bench and pushing a little bit further then going to it uh, then testing my TS bench until I got a crash what I found was I could set my core to minus 95 millivolts and then set my my CPU core, or I could set my cache to minus 95 millivolts and I could set my core all the way down to minus 175 millivolts and that was optimal where the, the when I run TS bench it finished as quick as possible and the temperatures were running as low as possible as well so it's really a trial and error issue so I just go ahead just tweak um, find out what a stable undervolt is for people that have a similar laptop or CPU to you and then once you have your baseline in throttle stop play around with your CPU core CPU cache until you get the best performance and the lowest temperatures it's trial and error guys you can do it anyway so I hope that wasn't too much of a mouthful if you did enjoy the video please go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't subbed to my channel just yet please go ahead and subscribe other than that guys i say this all the time but i mean it with every ounce of 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 authenticity in my heart it's people like you to make a difference cheers